Yes, the threats are to water quantity and water quality, both of which are really important in Southern Florida since the vast majority of the residents uh, get their water from freshwater aquifers that are underground and not that far from the limestone that's being targeted for oil and gas production. Uh, let's talk about water quality first. You're injecting very large quantities of fluid for fracking or for acidizing, hundreds of thousands to millions of gallons of fresh water to which you're adding chemicals and acids. Um, that fluid in itself, if it were to leak into an underground aquifer, would contaminate that aquifer. That fluid, if it were to leak on the surface, could percolate down into the underground water aquifer and again contaminate it. So there are lots of risk associated with contamination of drinking water because you're putting it in close contact with a fluid which is not usable as drinking water for, plant, for, for plants, for animals, or for humans. Water quantity is also coming into play. Um, as you know, Southern Florida is water starved right now. There is not enough fresh water uh, to support random extravagant uses. We have to be very careful and conserve our fresh water uses, use, usage here. So anything that creates an additional tax or demand for fresh water is working against our health and environmental issues. So hundreds of thousands to millions of gallons of fresh water has to be taken out of the water cycle and used consumptively, one use. It's contaminated by adding chemicals or acids to it. It's pumped down the well to do its dirty job down there, and it's lost forever. It doesn't come back to the surface as a usable, drinkable water supply. What does come back, not all of it, is contaminated. It's a, it's a residual liquid waste, which then has to be stored, transported to some place where it can be safely disposed. So the, the additional risks in Southern Florida are the result of the geology that you have here. Because you're gonna be using acids, you have not only the usual chemicals that are done during fracturing, but you have much larger quantities of acids. So water quality, water quantity are the threats to Southern Florida from this development.